Hello everyone, thanks for joining my channel. It's Rocky. Oh, I am tired. I have, I just walked in the door. And um, I have some things I wanna share with you, but before I do, I need to unwind just a little bit and also get dinner started. The boys will be home in about an hour or two, anywhere between an hour or two from now. So I am going to go ahead and cook. Um, I think I'm gonna do chicken wings for them, of course, right? Because I'm vegetarian and I don't eat that. I think I'm gonna do a big ass bowl of grapes for dinner. And I know that doesn't sound like much of a dinner, but I'm gonna do a big bowl of grapes. And um, it's because I went and bought like, I was in a grocery store called Mariano's here in Chicago. And in the grocery store, they had these three different types, well, yeah, they had three different types of uh, grapes that were beyond delicious. Of course, the cotton candy grapes, I think you've all heard of those, but if you haven't, they are green grapes that taste exactly like cotton candy. Then there was the uh, gumdrop grapes, and they're very small, dark grape, dark purple grapes. <laughs> And they taste amazing. They taste like candy, literally taste like candy. And um, I, they're, they taste very nostalgic to me. And this is a bad story, I'm gonna tell it anyway. When I was a kid, there was a house um, just behind my parents' house. There lived a home that only had nuns in the home. There was, at any given time, there was anywhere between four and 10 nuns living at the house at the same time. And this group of nuns had a huge, um, huge grape vineyard type thing going on in their backyard and the, smack dab in the middle of the south side of Chicago, like not the uppity part, but <laughs> the south side of Chicago, they grew rows and rows of grapes. And my friends and I would hop their fence and steal their grapes and eat them. Oh my gosh. But anyway, we stole from the nuns. That's terrible. But I mentioned that because these gumdrop grapes that I tasted in the grocery store taste exactly like those delicious organic grapes that um, these nuns used to grow. And so I immediately snatched up a bag. And then they had these moondrop um, grapes. They look like fingerling potatoes, but really, really dark purple, like a black dark purple. So, so, so good. And then I had, uh, I got these big, juicy, crunchy, red grapes so i'm gonna get a big bowl of grapes mix all of those together and that's what i'm having for dinner and i know that sounds crazy but that's what i'm eating for dinner i'm gonna go ahead and get started with my cooking and then um i will chat with you in a second i've decided that it's probably a bad idea to have my blazer on so i'm gonna keep talking to you while we while i get i think i'm gonna make them some chicken and some mashed potatoes and i don't know what veggie just yet but, um, oh, while we're on the topic, this is a shirt that I bought recently and it says Calm is my superpower. And I think I mentioned to you guys that I'm going through a crazy time at work and I thought that this, I love like wearing like mantras and things like that to remind me of things, keep me grounded at times. But this is definitely something that I needed to embody this week. So I started off my Monday with my Calm is my superpower t-shirt. So, um, yeah, I just bought this and this is a part of the mini haul that I'll be showing you today. Um, I had a big lunch myself. Today for lunch I had, um, what was it? It was like a comfort food place. I got um, st string be green beans, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. And you know what I learned today? that I don't, I no longer like sweet potatoes that has sugar and butter and all this stuff added to it. I prefer to have my sweet potatoes just au naturel um, with just nothing. <laughs> I literally just bake it and eat it plain or if I cut, hand cut and make fries, I'll put a little salt on it, but we're about to make some chicken. In the meantime and in between time, I will show you some of the things I hauled. Not a very big haul, which is okay. But you guys know I absolutely love, 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 love t-shirts. I got another one that says siempre happy, nunca unhappy. It means always happy, never unhappy. Um, I need to, uh, if you watched my last video, the seven assumptions about me, I talk about my happiness level and this has a lot to do with why I got this shirt. So 
If that sounded cryptic, good. I want you to go back and watch the last video so you can see um, what I'm talking about. I also got something that's a little bit different for me. I don't have very much velvet in my wardrobe. I do. I did get this dress. It's a velvet dress from, all of these things are from Zara, but you can see it has a high waist and it's um, midi length. So I thought it was super cute. I, I plan to wear this with like a belt here to define the waist. It has a slit also as well. So I am excited about rocking this one because it's a departure. It's a departure from what I would normally wear. It is form fitting, but professional at the same time. So I think I will look very adult in this dress. And then the last thing I got from Zara was this sort of a sweatshirt dress, I guess it is. And um, let's, let me show you. It's, um, I don't even know what color this is. It's a mix between khaki and sort of a na uh, army green. You can, you tell me what color that is, but it's like a deep dark khaki, but at the same time it has hints of like an olive army green in it. So it has a um, sort of a turtleneck, it's thick. If I could show you that, it kind of has like a thick long neck. It's not a full long sleeve, it's a three quarter length sleeve. So definitely won't overheat when you have this on. And then it, it, it is short. It's sort of shapeless, but it with all the, the way that it is fitted across the shoulders and have the detail at the neck, it didn't look bad. It didn't look like a potato sack. So um, definitely something I plan to wear for winter and for, and for you know later fall where it starts to get a bit crisp then I could you know, probably wear a thinner jacket with something like this and then into the winter and I'll layer more on top of it. So I will be back. So for those of you who watch me religiously, um, you probably remember one of the vlogs that I did where I showed that I was preparing for a sister circle meeting and I had to get all the snacks for the team or cook for the team, whatever it was. Um, do you notice something different about my background? There's no mint plant. <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> well, I just about killed it. So my parents came and got it and they're gonna nurse it back to health and maybe give it back to me. Reminds me of the time when I bought my son a bunch of fish from Smart, whatever it was. And my son took the worst care of these fish ever. So they, they died, you know, so one by one they started to die. Well, two things. I didn't know how to care for a fish, plus my son didn't help the situation. We had it, we had like five fish in a bowl like this big. <laughs> And uh, my son didn't feed them, he didn't clean the bowl, so it was up to me to kind of do all of that, which, you know, it's in his room, whatever, I wasn't really paying attention. So they died one by one, so as they would die, I put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in a the freezer. So once they all died, I brought them all to the pet store and said, hey, they died. And it was rather quickly, probably within less than, I want to say two weeks, they were just dropping off. So as each one died, I would scoop it out, put it in the thing, and freeze it, and so then once I had the group of them all, took them down to the pet store and said, hey, I don't know what happened with what you sold me, but this ain't working, they all, they all died, I, wanna, I want new fish. So they took, they were like, oh yeah, we can absolutely help you. So they took the fish from me, <laughs> politely, kindly took the fish from me, um, asked me to fill out some forms, and then the woman started to tap on the register, pulled out some money, handed me a wad of money, and I said, um, oh, okay, great, so what do I do? Do I just go out and pick the new fish that I want, bring it back up to the register, pay here, what, what do you want me to do, how do we do this? And she says, oh, no, 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 um, actually, we're giving you a refund. Um, we put you in a registry for not being able to buy fish from us ever again. Because what you described, um, of the, the conditions of how you kept the fish and this, that, and the other, you, um, that's cruelty and we can't allow you to buy any more fish. <laughs> so I am banned, and that's messed up because I think that my son should share in that crime, but man, I am banned from buying fish from PetSmart or whatever it was forever. They have me in the database and I cannot buy fish anymore. That's pretty messed up, but anyway, I say that to say, I'm just not, I'm surprised my son is still around, but I'm just not good with taking care of things. Plant, gone. Fish, gone. Um, so I'm, I, that's, that's one of my other concerns about getting a dog. Probably ain't gonna happen. My water is boiling over. I still haven't gotten started on my chicken and the boys will be home soon and I keep chit-chatting with you. So I am gonna call it a day. Thank you so much for joining. Let me know what you thought of my mini haul. Let me know what you think of my graphic tees. Oh, do you like my apron? I need a hobby. Anyway, thank you for joining. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the red subscribe button right there. Go ahead and share with your friends. We need to grow together. Leave me a comment, hit the like button, all of those things. Hope to see
see you soon. Bye. Never saw you leaving this heart. Is in need of some healing. Yeah. These are.